I guess that's what happens when you put, put a bunch of sports people into the same group. It would have gotten so competitive. It would have done. Like, yeah. probably dangerously yeah. competitive. And um, I was on, like, the female... Um, women's health. Women's health, basically. So now everyone's like, you can stop wishing <laughs> I about periods now, but... <laughs> I'd say I am. Yeah. Where's sports kit when they're not even playing sport? Like... Yeah, I missed, I missed the memo on that one. <laughs> <laughs>I get it all the time at home, like, oh, you're just doing like a PE teacher degree. Yeah, that's I, the I get that all the, the time. I think there's Everything. a stigma. Yeah, there's such Literally. a stigma. It's like, so like, oh, you do sports like you kick a football around yeah. all day. Oh, oh, you needed your trainers for that one. Yeah. It? But honestly, people who actually, when, when we explain what we do and we show them our coursework and we show them our exams and they're we like, say, this oh, is what we're learning, they're like, brain. whoa, <laughs> it's a, it's a really, really is a proper, proper, proper science. Sports science is about helping people, so Either that be yeah. like helping performers be better at their sport or helping just the general public be healthier. So you do learn a lot about people and how, how they work. If you're doing an examination of someone, like a fitness test of someone like running their CPET exam, they're going to be very anxious like, you know, is there something wrong with me? So there's quite a lot of focus on, on <laughs> people in that respect. It's not only how they work, but how to treat them in like a, in a professional sort of context. We'd be learning about like cold water swimming in psychology. They take us cold water swimming. We were learning about scuba diving and physiology. We go scuba diving. We went scuba diving. <laughs> you go back home like to all the people not doing sports science and like, oh, what are you doing this week? Oh, scuba diving. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing this week? There's just so many doors, doors that are open. Oh. So I know I think the people on who are in your year that have, I think they've started up their own sort of businesses. But then you learn out that some people on the course are actually going to be doctors. Yeah, exactly. And that's what they're going to do. Yeah. Like you could be sat in an interview for a job and they'll say, "Tell me a time you've done this. Tell me a time you've done this." And they have literally set us up to have yeah, done like, every, every single, single <laughs> like every single skill, every single opportunity. Like they've set us up, like yeah. essentially. Yeah. Very, very active people generally. There's, there's all kinds of people yeah. on the course and it's like, I quite like that as well because it means you meet just loads of different people yeah. and loads of different ages as well, which mm -hmm. I was quite surprised at. I think like competitive nature is very, very obvious. Yeah. Oh um, God, yeah, definitely. Like when you've been brought up in sports for 21 yeah. years, yeah, you need absolutely. a bit of oomph. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know straight away you've got something to talk about with everyone. <laughs> it's like the icebreaker, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it literally what is. What sport do you play? What sport do you play? You go, Who do you support? When do you play? Yeah. So we can come watch you, because that was something that we did in first year quite a lot, was we'd always go and watch each other's games. Even like the lecturers, how well the lecturers are involved with us, and they're so like enthusiastic for us to be like this sort oh, of yeah. big group of friends, basically. Um, You're about to be cheesy and say family then, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think they like put us into situations that at the time do feel a little bit out of your comfort zone, yeah. because we're not used to going in, like for me, like standing in a room full of 13 like, uh, women's Premier League footballers and talking to them about the menstrual cycle. Yeah. That's not something that I imagined I'd be doing when I started the degree. When I arrived, I didn't want to do any public speaking. I didn't want to put a hand up. I was very, oh, yeah, like, okay. quite... I'm really surprised at that. Quite, quite <laughs> reserved. Of being able to, like, throw myself into a situation that maybe at the start made me feel uncomfortable, and now to do in this degree, which is seen as one of the hardest sports science degrees in the country. Dive in head first, get yourself involved with different things, and because the time does fly by. It's such a cliche thing to say, but three years is not a long time, so make sure you make the most of it, because you won't regret it if you do. Join women's football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out to the climate team.